Hey, JMC6000 here. So glad you can join me on this impromptu video. Uh, what I wanted to cover in this video today is about this guy right here. It is a rumor that's been flying around. Um, nothing has been, well, let me, before I kind of dabble into that, let me just see what this is. If you don't already know, there's been rumors and talks about Toyota coming with a Ford Maverick rival. What we have here is uh, a rendering of the 2024, possibly, if not 2025, what they call the Toyota Stout, S-T-O-U-T. Yes, kind of a weird name, but anyway, um, it's supposed to be based off the TNGA platform. I think that's what it is, TNGA. Anyway, the same platform that the RAV4 is based on, same platform uh, that the Camry is based on, basically. Ford would take a RAV4, essentially add some kind of truckish looks to it, and then chop the back end off at the at the rear door and then add a pickup bed, almost like what Ford kind of did with the Bronco Sport. Same platform that underprints what's on the Maverick, the same platform that underprints the Bronco Sport, same platform that underprints the Ford Escape. And they basically added a bed to that platform, stretched it, lengthened it. Um, not necessarily widened it, you know, but stretched it and lengthened it. What I wanted to cover in this video is not only the rumors surrounding this little pickup that Toyota is supposedly brewing or kind of bringing together, but are they real? Are they true? So let's kind of dive into it here on JMC 6000. So uh, this video, or this, not this video, but this picture I pulled from CarBuzz, and uh, CarBuzz is uh, what I pulled my a lot of my information on. Now I know CarBuzz is kind of like uh, kind of like a tabloid site for vehicles and everything and pretty much that's what they say they put out this article uh, June 14th so a little over a month ago uh, the rumor mill suggests Toyota's work on a new compact pickup this is what we know so far anyway if you want to look at this article you can the reason why I brought it up was to kind of show you where I'm pulling my information there's a couple issues I have and the reason why I titled my video the way I did was would I trade in my Maverick? Or should I trade in my Maverick for if Toyota built something like this? I mean, if it looks like this, no, that thing is an absolute disaster. It's like FJ Cruiser met and got shrunken down and tried to be a, a Jeep Comanche. So it looks like a mashup between a Jeep Comanche and an FJ Cruiser. Maybe some people like that. I, that's not for me. I think it looks like an absolute mess. So hopefully it doesn't look like that. Many people may like that. I don't know. Uh, frankly, I like the Maverick. Uh, I like its kind of um, very sport truck look and appearance. I know, you know, some people have jacked up the Maverick. Some people put bigger tires. I get off track. Anyway, whatever case may be. So here's the first thing I want to cover with the Toyota Stout. Number one, Toyota hasn't mentioned anything, not even a word, that they're coming out with this pickup. Nothing. I mean, of course, any vehicle, they're going to be tightly wrapped about. If it's kind of an upcoming vehicle, it's going to be a rival of another vehicle or another segment. But Toyota hasn't mentioned anything. They haven't said, oh, yeah, we're going to, we're, you know, we're in uh, production phase. We're in, not production phase, but we're in development phase and different things. And we're going to be coming out with this particular vehicle. They, they haven't mentioned a word to anybody. So until I hear it from Toyota corporate itself, this is probably not going to happen. Until we hear from Toyota themselves that we're actually working on something like that, it's not going to happen. And number two, this would eat into their coveted uh, Tacoma sales. Now, as you all know, Toyota just released a new Tacoma, just released it uh, not too long ago, here about a month or two back. And here's the thing about the new Tacoma. They were able to ding, bring everything they can, and they just knocked it out of the park. Everything. In fact... Don't be surprised if I trade on my Maverick for a new Tacoma. Just saying, the TRD Sport, the six-speed manual, that's kind of cool. I have to admit, I, that really speaks to me. I'm just saying, that does. Uh, that or even the Hybrid Max, the only issue I have with the Tacoma is going to be price. I mean, you look at the Maverick now. Yes, the Maverick has jumped up in price. Yes, your order gates are open. They opened up the other day on Monday, and they've been open. They're probably going to be open for at least a week, maybe, until all the orders are filled up, and they're going to close them out again. Here's the thing, uh, Tacoma is in the um, the midsize platform segment, and that segment is very, very, starting to get to be very, very expensive. Ford just released a new Ranger. Kind of some different point, disappointing things about the Ranger is, I don't think Ford really 
knocked it out of the park with the Ranger. They didn't introduce a hybrid model, like everybody was thinking they would. They really kind of just gave us a warmed over version of what's been overseas for almost two years. And it's just like, come on, Ford, you can do a little bit better. Yes, they're giving us a EcoBoost 2.7 as an option now, which is great. Um, they're introducing the Raptor. That's awesome with the three liter. It's going to be an amazing engine. What you find in the Bronco Raptor is going to be in the Ranger Raptor because it's made in the same assembly plant. And I think what Ford trying to do is the reason why there's not many excitement or, or not really excitement, but many kind of push to really diversify the Ranger is you're putting into the parameters of what we do for the Bronco is what we're doing for the Ranger. If we're going to do this for the Bronco, the Ranger will follow suit. We can't have the Ranger deviate too much because it's built in the same factory and we've got to keep commonality and all that. So I think that's why the Ranger is kind of like a pickup version now of the Ford Bronco. So if you like the Bronco, but you want a pickup version of it, you get the 2024 Ranger. It's pretty much what it's coming down to. Uh, anyway, um, so back on task with the new Tacoma, this would be into the Tacoma sales. I'm just telling you right now, yes, the, uh, this could potentially be cheaper than the Tacoma. And more than likely, I can see the TRD Sport that I like in the 2024 Tacoma that's coming out. I can see that starting in the low 40s with four-wheel drive, the double cab, it's at least in the low 40s. Even if I get a bare-bones TRD Sport with the 6B manual, you're probably looking at about a $42,000, $43,000 pickup, maybe pushing $45,000. They'll almost get the hybrid DAX powertrain. I'm sure that pickup would be like forty-five, forty-six, dollars maybe even $47,000. And we're talking about a mid-size pickup. It's just crazy. I mean, I'm not even going to jump into the Colorado, which I think is going to be an epic fail. I mean, after people get over the, the looks of the Colorado, when you dig down deep into the Colorado, the only value trim is a trail boss. But with a mediocre engine, mediocre transmission, with subpar fuel economy, and, you know, all the other cheap things that GM did to that truck, I, I just think it's an absolute dud. I'm already seeing starting to pile up at dealerships already. They're not moving. They're not moving. People are starting to get looking a little bit deeper in their car. It's just like, I mean, if you don't get the trail parts, it's kind of like, what's this truck about? It's kind of, eh. you know, it, you know, when when you when everybody sees the excitement of the of the new Tacoma, they're going to rush to get that instead of the Colorado. They're going to rush to get the new Tacoma instead of the Ranger and and everything else. So I see demand for the Tacoma really really spiking, especially with this new model. Anyway. Back to the Stout, I really don't see Toyota producing this. Again, it would even to the sales of the Tacoma. And number two, I just don't think it's a market they want to get into. I mean, they, they capitalize so much and they, they knocked it out of the park with the new Tacoma that they're not really interested in building this. They know that they can actually, if, if I think what it's going to happen with the new Tacoma is going to happen, they're going to blow the sales out of the water more so than the Maverick more so than any other mid-size pickup, it's going to be a sales leader for a long time to come. And why would Toyota, I mean, almost like what Ford did when they canceled the first Ranger back in 2011, the reason why they did that is they wanted to eat into the sales of the F-150, and that worked for a long time until they brought the Ranger back. I think Toyota was looking at this like, why would we build this? Why would we produce this? When the Tacoma is so much better and people are going to clamor for that truck, Kind of interested to see what pricing is going to be. We should see that release here in a couple weeks. Um, kind of interested to see what fuel economy is going to be for the 2.4, whether it be the 6-speed manual, the 8-speed automatic, or the especially the hybrid powertrain, the hybrid version of that 2.4 of the 8-speed automatic. That's going to be interesting. Um, I know it's not going to be levels of Maverick hybrid fuel economy, but it could be one of the best fuel economies that we've seen in a mid-sized truck outside of the Dormax diesel that GM offered on their previous Colorado Canyons. Again, if you want a mid-sized truck and you want the best fuel economy, you don't go to the Colorado Canyon anymore. You don't go to the Frontier. You might have to go to the new Tundra with the high, or new Tacoma with the Hybrid Max powertrain. So, anyway, just wanted to clear up some rumors and different things about this guy. Uh, am I going to look to get one, even if they do come up with that thing? Probably not. But the new Tacoma, I, I have to say, I, I'm really interested in that. I'd be interested to drive that and interested to see how that is, especially with the 6B manual. Last time I had a, a manual transmission in a trunk was a, a 2000 Dodge Dakota that I owned. And I, and I had the V6. It was the Gutless 3.9, but it was an absolute fun little pickup. And uh, I would absolutely love that truck. I'd love to get something like that again, even more capable than what that truck was. Uh, the Maverick's been fun. absolutely love the Maverick. But if I take a little bit of hit on my fuel economy and then have a little bit of fun too with that new 2.4 turbo and the new Tacoma, that could be something interesting. 
Anyway, just a quick update for you guys. Um, stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment, share this video. Uh, if you want to go ahead and put some comments down below, questions, comments, you know, any more rumors than I do about the, the stout, I mean, all they are is rumors. Nothing's been substantiated. Nothing's been confirmed by Toyota. So when people are like, oh, I'm going to wait for the new Scout, I'm not going to even get the Maverick. You're going to be waiting for a long time, bud, brother, sister, whoever. You're going to be waiting for a long time. This thing isn't coming. And I seriously doubt we're going to see in the next year, maybe two, if Toyota really does want to build this. I seriously doubt it, though. They got their hands full, and they did such a good job with the Tacoma. There's no reason to have this. Anyway, you guys be blessed. Have a wonderful day.